Whatever. I'll just chuck you out there. Chuck who out where? Surely not me. What? Wait. The stranger stuck an arm around my waist, hoisted me onto his shoulder, then headed for the broken window. Sir, I am not a sack of potatoes. You're gonna throw me out there. Why can't I just stay in here? He showed no sign of hearing me, even though I knew he heard me. Reaching the window, he threw his leg up on the seat and peered outside. I mean, I'm just not gonna let go. A strange, acrid smell stung my nose. On the other side of the window, an alien landscape robed in red fog stretched out into oblivion. Yeah, I'm definitely not. No, no, no. This ain't gonna work for me. This ain't gonna work for me at all. Yeah, I'm gonna stay on the train. If he throws me out there, I'll, I'll run back inside. Wait, let me go. And when I say, when I say let me go, don't let me go out there. Let me go inside here. Quit struggling. I can't get a good angle. Good, good. Like, why would I listen to you? Why would I stop struggling? Stop. Who are you? Well, congratulations. I'm glad your dream has come true. And since your dream has come true and you're so happy and you're in such a good mood, you know, why don't we stay inside this train and celebrate? I'll bake a cake. That wasn't a joke. I was serious. The stranger hefted me up and swung me back, preparing to throw. I am not a baseball. Oi, oi, oi. What do you mean don't do that in front of you? What are you going to do, turn around and he's going to proceed to do it? Uh -huh. The heck you want? Stranger with a gun has a potty mouth. Stranger with a gun, stranger with an attitude. I'm just saying. I'll have to tell the academy and no one wants that. I want it. I would like very much for you to tell the academy. Will the academy punish him for what he's about to do to me? Tell. Snitch, do whatever you gotta do. Take me with you and I will also tell. We could tell together. Stay out of my way, beep hole. So he just rude to everybody. Thought I was special. There's more of them. Well, there's at least two. The first stranger tossed me onto a seat like discarded luggage. Ow, the disrespect. I'm still alive. Yeah, let's keep it that way. I am not prey. <laughs> What do you mean you'll take care of cleanup? Oh, you mean like because he, he hurt the monster and there's like blood all over the floor? Yeah, I could help you clean that right on up if, if that's what you mean. Like, I, I don't mind doing that. Like, I, I'll help with clean up too. I hope that's what he means by clean up. Okay, it's a little too late for you to be telling him that because he already destroyed the window, though. So. There he goes again. There he goes again. He punched the window. This man stayed punching windows. He could have just opened the window. But I guess he needs to punch it to get the glass to put in his gun. His gun which shoots glass. Like, like that's just a normal thing in this universe. He don't care what you said. He don't give a darn about what you said. He don't give a hoot. There he go again picking up glass. Disappeared into the fog. Destroying public property. Matters not to him. I just don't like the idea of him getting glass all over the place. Yeah, yeah, let's get out of here. Let's. Shall we? I would like that very much. I no longer wish to be in this environment. I, I don't like it. The remaining stranger stretched and knelt on the floor of the train back street. He pulled out a long flute, pressed it to his lips, and blew several notes into the air. Oh, so he's a musician. Good for him. What a beautiful sound. And it smells like, it smells like a flute. The gentle scent of rain had filled the train car. Oh, flutes have smells? Wait, what? Suddenly a stream of bubbles flew from my mouth. The heck? What is happening here? Somehow I was underwater and I cannot swim. He trying to drown me. What did I do to deserve this? I can't breathe. Tell me how I'm supposed to breathe with no air. No air, no air. Everything's going dark and I can't find a light switch. Huh? I was jolted back to consciousness by a familiar announcement. Okay, it was all a dream. It was all a dream. Good. Back in a normal train car, for some reason, daylight was streaming through the windows. And the windows, they're not broken no more. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Still no other passengers, but everything else seems normal. That just means I can sit at anywhere and I don't have to worry about anybody like, you know, sitting in the spot that I wanted to sit in or, or sit next to me. Wait, what? Oh, uh, okay, okay. I mean, you don't have to apologize for being here. Um, There's more than enough space on this train. 
Yeah, that's, that's a match. Number. Right? Because that's, that's fire. That's a match. What you blowing fire at me for? Hmm? You asked me what it was, and I said it was a match. Why would I close my eyes? Like, why would I do that? You said, what is this? Of course I had my eyes open so I could see what it was. He took another match out of the bottle he was holding and lit it with the striker strip. Okay, why are you lighting yet another match? Now, I thought the first match you lit, I thought that was kind of weird, but now you're lighting the second one. Like, what are you trying to do here? Set me on fire? That's what I did last time. I looked at the other fire. Now you want me to look at this fire? You just want me to stare at fires all day? Now you got me fired up. But sure. Sure, I'll look at you, little fire. He stared hard at me with a furrow in his brow as though he didn't like that response. Well, what response did he want? You're the one that asked me to look at the match and look at the fire. Like, why are you unhappy? I'm not the problem here. You're the one that keeps lighting matches, you pyromaniac. He blew out the match again. Is this some kind of prank? This series of bizarre events coupled with the pain in my leg was becoming too much for me. Um... The monster, the gunshots, the scenery outside the train changing. Can we talk about that? Are you guys filming a movie or something? Because if you are, then I would like to get paid for my services in the part that I played in the movie. And I will also like to sue for the damages that your actor contributed to me. Because I got a cut from the glass that your actor was shooting out of his gun. What you mean they don't work on me? I mean, if he tried to set me on fire, I'm sure they would work on me. But hopefully he won't do that because that's just crazy talk, right?